shoulders, he's calmed things down and there's a free in for Cork. Yeah, Donegal haven't been conceding many frees in close to goals. That time, I think it was, who was it? Was it uh, Ryan Bradley, I think, came in with the tackle that time. They fall quite a bit out the field in the middle area, but seldom you see them conceding frees from close in, and that was not, a, not like Donegal this season. This is Daniel Goulding, man of the match in the All-Ireland Final 2010. All-Star, 0-9. Referee is telling the Donegal players, three of them, to get back the sufficient distance. Paddy Kelly has gone in now to try and do a little bit of pushing and shoving, and eventually McGee, Eamon McGee, acknowledges that he has to go back more than uh, ten, five, five to ten metres. Here's Daniel Goulding. It's looking good, and it's over the bar. They're level again, three points each for the third time. Well, we'll all remember Goulding's tour de force in the All-Ireland final, was it two, two years ago where he scored, was it nine, Marty, during the match, most nine. of them from freeze. But that certainly will give him a lot of confidence and just renew his kind of, shall we say, his acquaintance of scoring points from freeze in Crow Park. Dave Coldrick's attention has been drawn by his umpires, Stephen O'Hare and James Matthews. And they're going to just have a little word there with Dunnick O'Connor. And uh, just telling Corkville forward, and indeed also telling Mark McHugh, he doesn't want any more of it, just keep focusing on the game. Good work by the officials. Very good work, and interesting, it's Kieran Sheehan at the moment who is actually looking after Mark McHugh. Kick out, comes down towards Aidan Watts, picked up by Leo McClure. Third top scorer for Donegal in the championship so far, with two goals and three points. Anthony Thompson, again they're floating it in high towards Michael Murphy, sweeping behind Noel O'Leary, Michael Shields, to Paddy Cassar. As part of this court team when Larry Tompkins and Billy Morgan were in charge, he's had a long and distinguished career. Paddy Kelly takes the challenge to Mark McHugh, gives it back for his able watch, no substantial ground really gained. Daniel Goulding lays it off to Paddy Cassar. Plenty of Donegal defenders back there. Graham Canty now comes forward. Just three Donegal players and three Cork players inside the Cork half of the field. Just to give you a picture off screen. As Kieran Sheehan goes forward, coming through. Fintan Gould steps aside the challenge of Mark McHugh, but over carries, and that is a free for Donegal. And Donegal are very good on the counter-attack and they want to feed the ball quickly down towards McFadden and Murphy as quickly as possible. Yeah, but watch how, how cleverly they can ensnare you once you delay and letting the ball through. Look at the hand passes on top of your screen, the numbers. Cork 50, Donegal 15. Yes, and Donegal are kicking the ball much more today than they would have done in the past. Ed Walsh to Cody Cassar. Alan O'Connor will. In the centre, it's Paddy Kelly. Pumps it in towards Daniel Goulding. Chasing after him, it's Eamon McGee. Back outside, Fred Paddy Kelly. Confident enough to have a goal from there. And it's centimetres to the left and wide. It remains after almost 16 minutes of play, level at three points apiece. The other has been a very enjoyable opening to the game. Both teams are probing one another, trying to find openings. The Donegal defence is so solid at the moment and so kind of replete with bodies. Whereas at the other side of the field, there's only, as you said earlier, Marty and Comedy, there are only six men all together, together in the Cork half of the field. Jim McGuinness with Rory Gallagher along the sideline watching, plotting. Alan O'Connor fists it cleanly, but it's going to go out over the sideline. Mark McHugh. Nice ball up far as Paddy McGuire from Ardwa. Taking the challenge. Stumbles, unfortunately, from his point of view. The ball is still there. Aidan Walsh knocks it off McFadden. That's going to be a sideline ball for Cork. Aidan Walsh. Paddy Kelly. Michael Shields, 
Michael Murphy coming into challenge. In a spot of bother as Dunny Gall converge, not in ones or twos, but in threes or four. The Cork work themselves out of any sort of trouble. Alan O'Connor down towards Kieran Sheehan. Carl Lacey, ball is thrown. Free to Dunny Gall. Good pressure by the Ulster champions. Wonderful pressure once again from the Ulster champions, suffocating the Cork attack that time. Cork a little bit slow maybe to get the ball forward, but definitely that ball was thrown, and it's a free, it's a free for Donegal. Mark McHugh. And all O'Leary fouling Paddy McBrearty. McBrearty is looking sharp, and I'd have to say you'd be wondering about the fact of uh, Noel O'Leary marking him, I know it's his early days, but uh, certainly when Paddy McBrearty gets the ball in that position, as we've seen, he wins it. Yeah, he's such a precocious young lad, he's only turned 19 years of age, but, you know, when he's close to goals in particular, he's lethal in terms of scoring. But I would like to see him getting in a little bit closer to Michael Murphy when the ball's delivered long, because Murphy, so far, two or three balls have broken off him, and nobody's been in there from a Dun Donegal point of view to pick up the breaks. Michael Murphy. Heading it gracefully and accurately. That's the second of the game. And Donegal put their noses in front again by one. A quick kick out from Alan Quirk for his own Cadigan. Took the defender from Douglas on the south side of Cork City under a bit of pressure. And he works himself out of trouble. Cody Kassan now. Flicking it, Kieran Sheehan, nicely done it, makes the space as a result, uses the fist to put this over the bar, good score. That came all the way from goalkeeper Alan Quirk with a short kick out to Owen Cadigan and it worked up all the way, the length of the field ended up with Kieran Sheehan. Lovely piece of quick thinking that time by Quirk and a great counter-attack by, um, by Cork right up along the right flank. Caught Donegal napping somewhat, but the power of Sheehan that time was very noticeable and that was a wonderful score. Six foot five, 28-year-old Paul Durkin. Taking the kick out and finding his man on this occasion. Paddy McGrath. Anthony Thompson. Again, it's a long ball. Up towards this man. Mike Fagg. Shields with it. Oh, it was just to the right and wide. And Paddy McGrath had made a wonderful, incisive run, but McFadden thought he could put it over the bar. No fault in McFadden, but because he wasn't very far away. Court take the kick out quickly. Not using. Alan Quirk's kick outs down the middle because Neil Gallagher seemed to win the first uh, four or five of them. Using a short ball instead. Noel O'Leary to Paddy Kassar. Ball inside first, Paul Kerrigan. He beats the tackle, heading towards the 13. And there, Dunny Goal swarming. Good defending, it must be said, by the Ulster champions. But they backtracked and really showed their defensive qualities. Lacey into the centre to Neil Gallagher. Laying it off, Faris Frank McGlenn, ball into space for Colin McFadden, chasing after him, ball touched along the ground by McFadden, spotted by Noel O'Leary but not by David Coldrick, most importantly, and he's the man with the whistle, coming forward is Leo McLuhan, holding up play, trying to get inside the cover, Paddy Kassar, and good covering by Kassar, the ball needed to be delivered faster, and Cork counter it down, Aidan Walsh goes for a long ball up first, Colin O'Neill, Willing to take on his mark of Paddy McGrath. O'Neill is deadly from this distance. Hits off the post, but it goes left and wide. Let's go down to the sideline for some news from Joanne Cantwell. Just looking at Michael Murphy off the ball, he is limping and grimacing at the moment. He did fall awkwardly really a little while ago, so just keep an eye out for that. Thank you very much, Joanne. And uh, we will keep an eye on Michael uh, Murphy. And uh, right beside him, since the game started, has been Owen Cadigan. Just in terms of uh, Cork scores, uh, Cork uh, four points, three from play, one from free. Donegal, the reverse of that, three from free and one from play. In the centre, Neil Gallagher is playing well, but his distribution is letting him down. And Cork counter-attack with Paddy Kassar. 
Where is Teddy Kelly? Available to his left, Fintan Gould. Coming through the middle, it's Sheehan. He's good from this distance. He hits it solidly, but again, it's left him wide. And that's four cork wides to Donegal's three in the opening 22 minutes. And they're two very bad whites in the last couple of moments because they had men over, they had Carl Lacey badly out of position because the ball was turned over. They should have made more of those two opportunities. And this is Eamon McGee under severe pressure. The referee has blown his whistle. I think he felt that Daniel Goulding was fouling. Carl Lacey gives it over for his Rory Pavlov. Of course, played in his 100th match for Donegal in the game against Cavan last year. Eamon McGee, plenty to talk about tonight. Sunday game on at or, at, on RT2 at 9.30 with Des Cal. Meanwhile, live here on the Sunday game live, it is Donegal in the attack. Alan Quirk says, leave it! And there is a confusion and mixed signals between himself and his uh, captain. It doesn't happen that often, but I could see quite clearly that uh, Alan Quirk had said, leave it to me. Ball from Owen Paddy, good pressure again from Donegal. Here comes Rory Cavan, a little bit of space in front of him. Has a tough, and look at that! Brilliant score by Rory Kavanagh. And Johnny Gall are back in front again. That's a fabulous score from Cavan, and it must be said that time he took on the responsibility, he looked to get Murphy with the quick, uh, with the quick pass, didn't see it on, and took the responsibility. Great score. Interesting to note that the Cork are playing so many kickouts short. It was interesting the first three Neil Gallagher was doing well, wasn't he, Mark? Yes, and they have played the last three short, Mark. Yes. Nice ball from Paul Kerrigan to Colm O'Neill. Nice turn. What about the finish? Quality from Colm O'Neill from Ballyclaw in North Cork. He is a wonderful forward, and the sort of ball he's being fed here, where he runs onto it and turns, is exactly what O'Neill loves. I think that was Kerrigan that put that ball through to him. Just watch it again with the delightful dink pass from Kerrigan. Great vision, wonderful finish. Level for the fifth time after 24 and a half minutes. An intriguing, absorbing contest. Mark McKeel gives it and gets it back. Gives it again, this time to Michael Murphy. Not there for the return, He's, Murphy's looking for him. Back now, Paris McHugh, in a bit of space. Cork converge, needs to distribute it quickly. Murphy is there. Donegal support play needs to be a little bit faster, more incisive. Coming through is Rory Kavner, supplying all of that, and the ball is just a little bit weak at the end of it all. But it is noticeable that Cork are doing a Donegal in it, in the sense that they really are defending well, and Donegal need to have a little bit faster backup. Would you agree, Mark? I would fully agree, but the, the intensity of the game at the moment is wonderful. It's energy-sapping stuff. 